ka compassion of ministry international kapade ka wei na ka kinho kapadon ha ka jilla kalas dang ban su thi ha ki wei pat ki binta jong ki jilla ba pher pher kani ka ministry kala don manta ars nem tam kade ga ba island sa shi sen ya ki samla ki bangan ha ki jinkr ni di drugs di kinja jing di pindu a ki ba pher pher but kum ka ministry ka don ni ka binta ban a ya ka jaka sa na ka binta ki bam don ying don sem Habay kalan madu pastor Manoj Narjinari ulai tu bagani ka ministry kelas dang na shillong kelas dang ban so thie chaki wei pat ki jilla ka bakham so tanat ka long ba hadien ka jingwan jong u sari nong wei ulat mu bakani ka ministry kala thmu ban seng ya ka slem trekam jong ka ha afrika ha ki jilla jong ka maulawi u gwanda pat chaki wei pat ki jilla ha afrika ki badan ha padeng ka duk ka kerdo Kumta na kaliang u pastor mano jula kentu yaki pat ba manya sno aktilang ba ka ministry na gabenta ki paduk bekerdu ki bam don ying don sem pal ban island yaki samla ban wan biang suke emla ka salang da ka bapendu o shisnen yaki jing di pin buan Thank you to Kevin, Prats and Joshua. But I want to know about the NGO based ministry. Because we have Compassionate Ministries International. But I want to know about the Kalong Shaka Ika Kabuk Thiara. But Kalong Shaka Jigar Kuinga. I want to know about the Kalong Shaka Jigar Kuinga. But I want to know about the Kalong Shaka Jigar Kuinga. But I want to know about the Kalong Shaka Jigar Kuinga. But I want to know about the Kalong Shaka Jigar Kuinga. Kibrio, kalau kiri kibrio juga kita kini. Kita rap kibrio kita berdua kepasu. Kita mendengar kalian kesem. Kita dengar kalian jengar rap. Ha kalian kapisah kapilan. Kita lah sakan tak mah nak emlang kesalam. Kita kita berkhamtam. Kita dengar jeng teri kawa mungkin bet kita jeng nyumbuk kibrio kita lah ngat kita jeng dikir ni. Kita lah ngat kita kita jeng dikat. Kita lah ngat kita jeng dikrox. Kita long kita adex mah kita mlang suban Ia kita kita, nanti kita kena dengar kena dengar ministry pada, kena dengar NGO, kembali rapu. What happen kalau dalam rumah ingat bab aljazar apa, kena dengar skapor bab baru hari ini siapa jenca? Haba bahar bon bagi ki NGO suruh kena dengar meet hand nanti kena dengar bon ki kini 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 mah self help groups kena dengar meet banyak rap. Ane kini pada kini ngaji pun kira ngaji terima mah kira pansam kerja kira pun ayah kebam perang ki homeless. Kita nak cerita tak ni kau? Kementerian Perniagaan apoi hadu bagi nasang proper well structured organisation kira kata mentang ini, but ini bagi jeng teri jengki kalau si suah syang tak kata, tu nangah rasuah teman boh ngah orang ngah sutuk bah, kembali teri lang boh, kadang kiri kiri bagi lang orang kaji kala, kene kiri jengi, hakar kiri semua orang boh, hakar kiri mereka yang boh, kaji lang jengi, ni tengah perang kasiru, lah perang tu begini sebenar tu ni lah orang teri langnya, ni lah suah kiri lang orang teri lang boh. Lada, ibu yang longing, ilapan ay kencing rap. Kamu dah dia tang ke bisa, tinggal ilapan ay, kiki kijan, kinam, mah ukang, kucur, kijap, tang taruk lah biang ya, kalong, kencing kerku. Dan pila ilapan ay kata, kanu pila ilapan ay kencing kela, kencing yang mesti beri. Kata, bersih. Oh yes, of course my name is Pastor Manot Kumar Narjinari. I'm belongs to Bodo community, but I have been here in Silong more than twenty years and. My life has changed after coming to Shilong only, and I found Jesus here in Shilong. So I love Shilong and Meghale very much. So during the lockdown, uh, lockdown time, it's almost uh, more than two years now. So when I was fasting and praying, God spoke to me uh, to look after the homeless people. So since that, since that time, we are looking after the homeless people. Then after that, we came to know these homeless people are not really homeless. They are jobless, and they, they are most of them are alcoholic and drug addict people. We started. Uh, feeding them slowly, slowly, and uh, we started giving them counseling. And by God's grace, most of them changed you now. And uh, and uh, finally, we have registered this uh, NGO with the government. So now we are running here in Shillong. Another by God's grace, we are able to open another branch in Guwahati. And slowly, slowly, we are planning to open at Delhi also. And recently, last uh, month, I was in East Africa. I saw there are lots of people that are suffering without food, no clothing, 
of course in our India we are so blessed and we can say we are much more rich than this uh, East Africa countries and all so the Meghalaya is very blessed uh, state and uh, most of the people here we know who is the living God so I uh, really it uh, touched my heart not only in Shillong not only in Meghalaya even to Gauhati and to other part of the India to expand this ministry that's why our ministry name is Compassion Ministry International so I'm the founder of the ministry our main motto is to restore the broken life especially the drug addict people to restore their life and give them the new hope and uh, if possible like a creating small like a project and also they can get a job also so they're not able to go back to the old life to consume drugs again so these are our main uh, motto and the main vision to restore the broken life so it's not only if me and my team we can do if this much how much more we all the people of Meghalaya or Northeast come together we'll able to share our food with the hungry people and this is what the Bible says Jesus said I was hungry and gave me food I was naked you clothed me I was in jail you came and uh, visited me I was sick and clothed so this is the commandment of the word of God if we do really this thing I think the Meghalaya this whole world this India will be like a paradise so this is what I want to share the message to all of you. Let us come together to restore the broken lives. Let us share our uh, things with the needy people. So it doesn't matter how much you have in your bank, but the, the things that how much you, you have in your heart. If Jesus can feed uh, 5,000 people with the, out of five loaves and the two fish, how much more same Jesus is still alive. So he will walk through us. Of course, Jesus is no longer here in this world, but his body, the church is still here in the world. So the church, the body of Christ, we can do more in fact, really, if we work together. So this is what I have to say. Thank you so much. Those who are watching, and may God bless each one of you. See, NFT, we are having more than uh, 60 plus now. And during lockdown, we feed it even the municipal and uh, rhino. Those days, we used to feed around 200 per day. But since the lockdown is over now, so they are working. Some of them, they came back to the, oh, they are uh, in their home and all. But still, we have more than 60 people in the old NFT where the government has given us the place. And but this ministry we run by totally public donation, and we are not getting any government fund and all is totally by this uh, how to say public donation. Like people, you support us, somebody like rice and cloth. It's not that we need money only. We need the anything, whatever you can donate us, maybe with your small bag of rice or anything, potato or dal, whatever it may be, generously. So this is what I am to say. There is nothing impossible with God. All things are possible. But uh, thing is that it is, uh, is uh, only newly started more than two years. So maybe God's willing very soon we'll able to sub, uh, start even in a foreign country like in uh, like Uganda or maybe East Africa like Malawi where, where I went last uh, month. Because I see the people are suffering there like anything. Because at least we in our India we have a good cloth. We drive a nice car and all. But the country, those country I've seen, they don't have even to wear the good clothes, the second hand clothes they are using. So we can send our old clothes to those countries and show them the God's love. Uh, in that way, we'll able to start slowly, slowly, even in the foreign country also. There is nothing impossible. If like Mother Teresa from Italy coming to India, started the one sari, so he brought the great infect in our India. So how much more? Of course, Mother Teresa is no longer here in this world, but her ministry still continue. So in that way, if we really have a heart to serve, definitely I think God will provide the way for us. If there is vision, God will provide the vision also. Most thing what I mean to say, na, serving God is first, we don't need money first, we need the heart first. If we have a heart, definitely God will provide. So this is what the message went to spread to all the especially for the Christian people, those who really the church go out. Let us come together, only going to the church, reading Bible, that is not error. We must have a come with our, we must show our faith with action. Like James said, without faith is, without uh, action, our faith is dead. So, as I mentioned before also, Jesus said, I was hungry and gave me food. I was naked, you clothed me. And I was in jail, you came and uh, visited me. I was uh, like stranger, you take me in. So, what I believe, so serving humankind is the serving God. Because there is one temple in the world. There is only one temple in the world. This is the human body. This body we have to build. So this is the message and to pass to the, all the special other Christian people of Meghalaya. We all are Christian and uh, whatever we know the gospel. Let us share our gospel to the other people, especially with the needy people. So in that way, we can uh, bring a lot of change in our Meghalaya in the world. And what will carry after living? We we'll, we came naked. We'll go naked. We'll not carry anything. So what good did we did in the world? 
uh, when we will be doing that one will carry so this is what the message went to say what I know what I've experienced so I'm sharing this thing to the old special of the people of Meghalaya really God's love Meghalaya and Meghalaya is really so we can say so blessed uh, uh, this is a blessed state so thank you so much